In the late 80s and early 90s, there was a considerable boom in the independent film market, which led to independent films having their own genre. One of the pioneers of this revolution was Steven Soderbergh's Sex, Lies and Videotape. The film premiered at Sundance in 1989 to critical acclaim. The film also put Sundance on the map as one of the most popular film festivals in the world. Nowadays, Sundance is seen as heaven for first time filmmakers and independent films, kicking off the careers of many filmmakers such as Quentin Tarantino with Reservoir Dogs, Kevin Smith with Clerks, Paul Thomas Anderson with Hard Eight, Jared Hess with Napoleon Dynamite and most recently Damien Chazelle with Whiplash. However, there has been a new wave in cinema, particularly with independent films, this is known as crowdfunding. The two biggest crowdfunding sites, Kickstarter and Indiegogo, were set up to help artists and businesses create their own collective visions. They don't just support and help fund independent films, they also support the arts and crafts. The crowdfunding site caused controversy in 2012, when actor-director Zach Braff pitched his idea for his new feature film, Wish I Was Here, and wanted funding of $3 million. This angered a lot of people because many people believed Braff was using this as a way of making money and that crowdfunding sites were set up for people who have no connections in the business whereas Braff has many. Although Braff has said if he pitched a film to a major company, they would mess up his own creative personal vision of the film. A shining example of a successful crowdfunding site film being made from Liverpool is Alan Donahoe's feature film I Have a Bad Feeling About This. The film is about two lifelong Star Wars fans who embark on a journey to the furthest reaches of town to try and find a pair of tickets to a one-off showing of the original Star Wars trilogy. I met up with Alan to discuss his film and what he hopes for the future of crowdfunding. Um, oh, first time I heard of crowdfunding websites. A friend mentioned them to me. I, I was just sort of randomly talking about making a film after university and a friend of mine suggested, he was like, oh, well, there's crowdfunding now. And he, he mentioned, um, Kickstarter you mentioned, but at the time, uh, Kickstarter and Indiegogo, they weren't, they weren't in the UK, they weren't available. You found out about Indiegogo and you had your film with, with Jamie. Did you realise that this was the way to make the film? Um, part of it was, uh, I was a bit naive and didn't really know how to go about funding a film any other way and part of it was, you know, yeah, I thought, okay, this is the new way things are going to get done and I think it has become a bit more, it's a bit more normal now for people to go and crowdfund. When we did it, it wasn't the very beginning of crowdfunding, but in the UK, I mean, we, we, we raised our money in dollars, you know, when we did it on Indiegogo because Kickstarter wasn't available in the UK yet, so part of it was just no one was going to give us money any other way because we just got out of uni and didn't really have any credibility. Yeah, so in regards to funding, did you try to contact other companies like the BFI or like Creative England? We looked at the application forms and then just closed the tab. Because, <laughs> and not, not to, to put anyone off from doing that sort of stuff because, uh, you know, it's a way forward for some films, but we didn't get, we didn't make that many short films beforehand. I mean, we did stuff in university, and I worked as a runner on a couple of projects. So no, yeah, yeah. the short answer to that is no. Yeah. Did you look at other films from the two car from the websites? Did you give us an example? Um. We, we did when we got to Indiegogo. We obviously we, we backed a couple of projects as well just to get an understanding of how they worked and followed a couple. At the time, there was um, Ashens, well, he, he ran a campaign and was did really well. And uh, we, I think we looked at that. But other than that, there were just other smaller campaigns. There wasn't that many feature films that were asking for the money we were asking for. They were asking either for a lot more or they were just making a short. So there just wasn't many similar things to us at, at the time. Well, obviously, we did our research beforehand, but there was nothing that I, I followed like religiously on there because yeah. um, the focus was on running our own campaign really. Do you think that crowdfunding could be the future for independent films and that you no know, matter what the idea is you can gain an audience from either Kickstarter or Indiegogo? Truthfully I don't I don't know. I really don't know. I think it could go either way. I think user generated content is is definitely becoming more popular. There's definitely more output for, for content now. Um, but it's whether the stuff on Indiegogo and Kickstarter is good and people are living up to the, you know, the perks. Uh, I'd like to think that user-generated content or you know, people vote for what they want um, would, would become the future. Because at the moment, I think I know, audiences are being told what they want. Um, but again, I'm not an expert. <laughs> this is just a very humble opinion. In your opinion, do you think that we honestly could have made? I have a bad feeling about this without Indiegogo or Kickstarter. 
It's weird because my <laughs> because my ego says yeah. <laughs> I just found a way. Um, but I'm a bit of I'm a bit of a dreamer, and I think that's obviously why the film got made. And I think I, think I probably wouldn't have given up. I probably wouldn't given up trying to make it. Um, but I don't know how how I would have got the money any other way. It's like bus busking on a mega scale for a film. So I think I've already done that once, and I, I, I think there'll probably come a point where people go stop asking me for money. <laughs> so there you have it. Maybe in a few years time when you're on Netflix and you look into the category area, crowdfunded may just appear. You never know.